All right, what's going on YouTube? So we're having some issues with this carburetor and the torque system that's up here. So we're gonna try to eliminate that today, get rid of it, maybe make it a little bit cleaner, idle a little bit better. So that's the goal for today. And then also we have to work on the Raptor on the, I think it's called the wide open throttle pump on the Raptor. So we'll do that maybe on another video, but on today's video, we're gonna focus on that. Let me get this stuff and do an unboxing real quick. Uh, motor, motor 1988, uh, delete kit. Oh yeah, that's come with a throttle cable. So here's everything that basically comes with the kit. You got the throttle cable. This is the throttle cable. This looks really short. And then the top for the carburetor. This one looks even bigger. Is this the right one? I gotta make sure this is all the right stuff. Then you got, you drill this, it's basically like an idle screw. You drill it through the side of the carburetor, tap it, thread it in. But let's get to it. Let's start taking this. All right, so let's get this carburetor out. We could do this without removing any plastic. So that's one of the things that I do like about this bike. It's just so easy to work on. So first take this intake clamp off right here. And just slide this out, out of the way. As long as you have it separated like that, it's fine. And then you're gonna need a Phillips for the other side. I should have really, I should have, when I went to the parts store, I should have really picked up a new clamp. I might have to, even do that because this clamp right here is just terrible i guess it's not that bad yeah so let me get this clamp out and if i was just gonna clean it let me take this out too if i was just gonna clean it i could have just flipped the carburetor to the side taken the bowl off of the bottom and just done it that way but since i am going to be doing some work on the carburetor i'm going to have to take it completely out of the bike i also have to take off the throttle cable assembly because it's going to get a new throttle cable let's see if i can pull this out now and if it didn't have that torque system on top of it it would have been much easier because that thing is what takes up most of the space you also have a if you push this intake out there's a rubber boot that holds it in So see how that thing on top of the carburetor is like basically bigger than the carburetor itself. So we're gonna get rid of that right now. So basically we're just gonna be unscrewing it from here. And the good thing about this bike is all original. This is the original carburetor that came with it. As far as I know, the Mikuni carburetor. So pull that out, carburetor's free. So next thing would be to take this bowl out of here. So push the spring all the way back. So I guess you pull that up. What the fuck does that do? Take that shit out. This is probably gonna be a pain in the ass to put back in if I have to do it this way. Hmm. Mm. That shit went fine a million miles away, bro. That shit is non existent. All right, so I ended up finding the clip that went missing. It was way over there in the grass somewhere. It just took me a while, but put this on. And I think we have to splice two wires in here. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I have to take this front cover off and look at the wires under here and then see if there's something that I have to unplug. But we'll put this on and then we'll just go back to that. Yeah, but you're gonna file this all the way down till it's flat. 
then you're gonna drill through it with the drill bit they provided and then tap it once you do that you should be all good but yeah let's do that and we'll be right back all right so we just got that flattened out and we just drilled right through it with the supply drill bit so basically all we did was just kind of just, you know drill that in there until you come out through the other side over here and once that is done you're good the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to grab this threaded rod right here this threaded on um, whatever it's called and then you're going to basically tap this in you know screw it all the way in and then screw it all the way out but always remember to put some oil on the tip of this just to start it off so i'm going to do that and then i'll be right back i couldn't really find a socket to fit on here so we just threw some oil on it i'm just gonna tap it with a with some pliers like it'll be fine you know just working with the resources that we do have clean we still haven't cleaned the jets but I have to clean the whole carburetor honestly after this so yeah once you got that tapped in there I'm thinking it's pretty much all the way down let me check the where's the idle screw at it's over here. let's just check with this idle screw see if we are where we're supposed to be yes Screw that in there all the way. Yeah, so here's how the car carburetor's looking. I finally found the clip, so I just have to take this off and put that on. But see how the top is looking now? Instead of having this big old system up here, we just have this cap. And then it should run much better. So let me throw this on and then I'll get back to you guys. Yeah, so we got that throttle thing down there just to hold it in place. Now we can slide the carburetor back in. All you have to do is find that groove that's up there and match it up with this one. So it'll just slide in and then it'll go all the way down like that. Put this top piece, screw this top piece back on. Boom. That's it. And then your throttle won't come out of place now. All good. Boom. All good there. Nice and smooth. Everything seems like it's working. So now we'll throw the carburetor back on. And once we do that, I think we have to splice two wires together. But let's put the carburetor in first to get that out of the way. And the next thing we got to do is finally remove the rest of this and route this cable back up there. So let's get to that now. Basically now we're just reversing the same process. Bring this in. Just here, but also just down there, so seems like it's working. Now, the last thing is we have to come here. Yeah. 